These men in black masks holding clubs walk the streets of Rafah in an effort to restore a semblance of public order to the city in southern Gaza. Rafah is overwhelmed with Palestinians who've fled from an Israeli military invasion that has displaced almost the entire population of the Gaza Strip. The Hamas Islamist movement that has governed and policed Gaza for more than a decade has now gone underground to escape Israeli strikes. So it's fallen to these men wearing headbands that read People's Protection Committee to try and push back against lawlessness. None of them who spoke to Reuters would give their names. And it's not entirely clear what relationship they have to the Hamas movement. This man said the committee was set up jointly by the Hamas-run Gaza Interior Ministry and what he called Palestinian factions popular on the streets. He said he wanted to control the streets to ensure there was still safety in the country. Reuters was unable to reach a spokesperson for the Gaza Interior Ministry, which has stopped operating normally since the war began. Spokespeople for Hamas, Islamic Jihad, and another major armed faction did not immediately respond to requests for comment. The patrolmen said they were primarily concerned with price gouging in the besieged enclave. The conflict has led to intense shortages of all goods in Gaza, with Israel allowing only humanitarian aid into the enclave, trickling in at a far slower rate than food and medicine did before the conflict. This man said they gave warnings to merchants whose prices are deemed too high, and that after several warnings, their goods could be confiscated. Amid the war, some Rafah residents appeared to welcome the emergence of the People's Protection Committees to tackle lawlessness and war profiteers. But others seemed worried at the idea of armed, masked men taking over the job of policing. The vigilantes feared being identified by Israel or by the clans of profiteers whose goods they had seized, one person said. People backing the vigilantes said they were worried that Israel would see them as Hamas supporters. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.